is the washing machine from the garage. Slightly loud. Slightly? Mm hmm I think this is it for this washing machine. Yep. I plastic won't last forever. Yeah, there's a plastic part in there. A Come huge, on. it's a huge drum. It's, it's done. It's done now. It's done. Yep. Which I'm really sad about. Well, that that's washing what it is. machine was washing the diapers for the boys. <laughs> so it had a good run though. Although it gave an inspiration for something that is gonna be a bigger project but I'm very looking forward to it and we are just about to start once the washing machine is done we are not going near to that thing now I think this is the last load for that okay so we have the new washing machine we are still waiting for the dryer and these are some decorations a greenery that I need to go through I got some extra boxes there and some shelf that I want to use for my essential oils so I am going to empty out this closet there's not much in there we got some toilet papers and fans and this is the camping gear so this is something I'm going to find a different location for because we're going to take these off and we're going to put it into this corner on the wall so we might have to paint the wall to white and these cabinets are gonna go up there Jolt is already taking off the shoes from the shelf and then our plan is to put this two freezer over there and then take these down from there and put the wash and dryer over there and we're not going to stock them so we're going to create like a laundry room corner <laughs> in this area and eventually we might want to put a door in here This is the last load. Well, not the dryer, because we're not gonna have a dryer. Oh yeah, but still, this was the last load from this washing machine. Yeah, well, that was a pre pretty dramatic last load. <laughs> yeah, it was, <laughs> indeed. <laughs> What? What is it? It's broken. So the washing machine is on the place, but it's broken. So Joat is trying to take care of that to sort that out. Okay, this is where we are at now. So what happened? You had to go back to the Lowe's 
Yeah, I had to replace the machine, return it and get so a new one. So this is a different one. So this is the second one. This is the second one. And so far it's all good. Yep. Yeah, the first one had a, had a pretty good dent over here, which wasn't a big deal. The door was broken as well, so yeah, that's kind of a big deal. Yeah, so now it's working and washing. Yeah, and so. you are putting up these cabinets. Cabinets. So yeah, if so you guys remember, that was my computer desk. Yeah. So we got four. So we're going to put two of them here and two of them up there. This was actually your desk over here because we have these pins over here. Oh, when it has crumbs, so. <laughs> <laughs> Can you guys hear that? This is the highest speed. It's so quiet. Wow. Yeah. It is really quiet. Okay, I think I'm warming up to this washing machine. <laughs> going to paint this walls when we're going to put the door in here so I'm not going to worry about that now I just want to see the layout and I want to organize this cabinet so ooh, this is gonna be fun oh what was the issue <laughs> well I lost one of the screw how did you lose the screw well it fell inside and we couldn't find it <laughs> <laughs> okay so I had to buy a new screw a very fine screw somewhere inside but the dryer is here well look so. at the right side we have a spare screw now yeah okay so this is as we step out so we put up the cabinet here we got some cooler up there and we have the suitcase so we gonna need more additional shelves in there so i can show you i can show you what it's look like it's not pretty but at least all the shoes are in there and tucked away so this is something that we still gonna work on over here we have the two freezer we like the system the one has the beef in there the other one has the pork as we coming to this side we got the dryer guys oh wait <laughs> this side it is very nice 
I am still getting used to it because I mentioned I didn't want it to have the one that has lots of buttons. This was the most simple that we were able to find and also <clears throat> it closes and opens nicely so I think I'm gonna ha be happy with that and we also replaced the dryer because we we're thinking if that broke down that will broke down very soon and by the time they might not going to have the same so <laughs> we just went with that bite the bullet and just got the two at the same time so we should be good for years now again I'm, I'm going to do my best to take care of it so it will last long so in that area i'm going to keep my vacuum cleaner here this is just for the lens and i have the step stool and the bucket for mopping the floor and this is where i gather all the laundry so in the morning i come out with the basket and just dump everything in there and then it can go in there when i want to wash okay up in the cabinet so this one <laughs> it's filled with toilet paper we went to Costco so we got some from there and on this side I only have just whatever it needs when I want to clean the clothes I have some stain remover I've got this um, on the farmers market so sadly I don't know who made these because um, I don't have the box anymore but it's from coconut oil and it works really good where is it oh is the instruction haha <laughs> i don't think we're gonna need that but i got some vacuum bags up there this one has a few rags and um rubber gloves in there i have my cotton rags to clean with and the soap so that would be on this side so i'm telling you it's very simple <laughs> i got some extra egg cartons there so when we have eggs i can store them in there some paper bags Okay, over here I'm trying to keep the things that made sense to me, like the blankets, those are the picnic blankets, usually on the summer these are in my car, but it's winter now, so we're not going to picnic anytime soon in the rain, <laughs> and this was under the sink in the bathroom so these are for soap making and some sanitizer i got some witch hazel because i want to make some uh, homemade um, things and that includes some um, skin care and just some cleaners i got some hydrogen peroxide and rubbing alcohol i've got one fan we had two other one that i've got rid of joel just took them to goodwill <laughs> actually not goodwill another donation center but you get the picture we got rid of it <laughs> and i have an extra head for the mop i got some paper towel for some disaster distillated water and i have my bags that we use when i need to store something when we go somewhere like sunscreen or toothbrush or whatever when we travel i can just use these bags or if i want to wrap a present so that would be up here okay on the bottom it's not much over here but that's fine i i like to have some empty space i got two bags this is from ikea and i like to use this when we go to the beach or i need to use bulky items like towels or blankets so it's good for camping too i've got some oh this is for the shower head because we because we filter our shower water as well i got some kleenex and this is where i okay hold on and this box i'm keeping all the gardening stuff like um gloves and whatever we need for that and it's tiny <laughs> so i just keep it in the box and then over here you saw that as i put it up so i have <laughs> the big gun when i have to scrub the top and for oh i love this brush that can clean a lot of things duster broom and that's it i should leave this open okay so this would be it for now and we will continue to work on that and i will share it with you but this is how far we got now thank you so much for watching and see you guys soon bye